All right, what's going on, people? Back with the LFS 7.5 install. So, first things first, let's go ahead and get our live CD. Um, I'll be using Ubuntu 12.04.04 for this one, and I have had problems with 14.04, but I think those problems were on my end and not really uh, universal problems. So, but for this one, I am going to get 12.04.04. Um, the problems I had with 14.04, I only tried it like once, and um, I, I, I got I got weird errors on it. But like I said, that's probably only on my end. Um, you can try 14.04 if you want, but uh, that's up to you. This install is going to be for a 64-bit, okay? But you can use these tutorials for a 32-bit. And if you are going to install a 32-bit, I would just, um, recommend that you get this 32-bit ISO up here. Since we're going to get a 64, or since I'm going to do a 64, I'm going to get a 64. Okay. Um, and there's really no concern about um, this. Has it says AMD 64? If you run an Intel processor, it's the same thing. Okay. So that's done. That's cool. Now. What we need to do is, let's say, I hope, well, I'm going to install my LFS host system to SDA 8, okay, and on SDA 9, I'm going to have my uh, LFS 7.5 installed, okay, so, I've already effed this out and um, made a slice for my host partition and also my new LFS partition. I made them uh, 6 gigs which is kind of tight. A little tighter than I would like it but uh, I'm running out of hard drive space and I usually do about 10 gigs okay but um, 6 gigs is enough for me and 6 gig LFS 6.5 install and 6 gigs for an LFS 6.5 or 7.5 did I say 6.5? 6 gigs for 7.5 is uh is okay it's uh you have a little bit of room so I like to try to keep my partitions nice and small for cloning okay instead of you know letting it take up you know 80 gigs or whatever like that it's a real pain to clone if I ever need room, I can always mount a backup drive or, or a media drive or a media partition and just go off of that. Okay? So, I've already effed this out. Um, I don't know if you have, but uh, maybe uh, consider that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say make E2FS, General Purpose, which makes it a EXT3. And I'm going to go ahead and format my host uh, OS partition okay my host is going to be on SDA8 so I'm going to format that now now I chose to make it E3 instead of a 4 because 4 is uh... it's uh... <clears throat> I don't need all that EXT3 is old yes not old as EXT2 um, Four is optimized for servers and it's new and I really don't like the newest newest uh, bestest bestest so ext3 I've never had problems with before now in the book it says that you're going to format to ext4 partition but um, that's up to you I'm just gonna do an ext3 partition okay and that's uh that's how I'm gonna do it so uh, let's say that should be download is about 65 percent that's going okay um, now I'm gonna make my LFS 7.5 install a ext3 partition yes but also I'm gonna make my Ubuntu a 7 my Ubuntu a ext3 partition okay and it's gonna warn me about that or it's gonna recommend ext4 
but what I'm doing is I'm format <laughs> I'm formatting the partition here so I don't have to use the Ubuntu for format the program okay now any benefits between that not really um, not really at all okay but it will save me some time on the install okay and um, when I go to install Ubuntu 12.04 it's going to ask me do I want to format the partition well obviously I don't want to format it because I just format it okay so that's okay and another word I'm using grub I think it's grub legacy now if you use another bootloader Lilo grub 97 maybe or something else like that um, and you do not want to overwrite your bootloader okay what you can do is you can go ahead and you can stick the bootloader the grub that comes with the Ubuntu 12.04 you can stick that inside of the partition that you um, installed Ubuntu to. Now my intentions are to remove Ubuntu after I'm done my LFS 7.5 install and what that's going to do is it's going to take the bootloader that's with it and I should be able to update the bootloader that I'm currently using to have the 7.5 install. Okay. So if you want to ditch the bootloader like I did in 7.3 um, you can just wear after you uh, select what partition you want to install Ubuntu 12.04 to, it's going to ask you at the very bottom there in the toolbar thing, I'm a jiggy. It's going to say, you know, where do you want to install your bootloader to? Now you could say SDA, which will overwrite your bootloader. If you had 97, then all of a sudden now you have a 2.0, Grub 2.0, or Grub 2. Okay. Or you can just go ahead, like I said, and stick it in your where you installed Ubuntu 2. And when you remove Ubuntu, it should take the bootloader with it. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do also. Alright, that's done. I'm going to seed into my downloads. I can actually burn this real quick say eject and grab me a CD oh I just had to manually eject them now this is not a tutorial on how to burn a CD but if anybody's having trouble with burning software this is a really good way to learn really fast and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use CD record now I can say CD record scan bus. Okay. CD record scan bus is going to tell me my burning. Uh, it's going to list out my drives. Now, also too, it's going to. If I did this as sudo hard, I said CD record scan bus should give me two drives here okay as sudo this here dev triple zero is my hard drive and dev one double zero is going to be my cd-rom device okay or what I want to burn to so I can say something like after you figure that out okay you may have if you're on a desktop machine you may have two drives or whatever um, I'm going to say CD record. I want to use the verbose switch so it'll give me an output. And I'm going to say eject. So it's going to eject the disk after burning. And say disk at once. And my device number, which in this case would be 10, zero, comma, zero, zero. 10, zero, comma, no triple zeros, just double zeros. And the name of my ISO and that's how easy it is from the command line with CD record alright so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install this like I said I'm gonna ditch the bootloader I'm gonna make it an EXT3 partition um, 
ditch the bootloader inside of it. And when I come back, it should be on the Ubuntu side. And what I'm going to do is before I even start making a video on that side over there, I'm going to say um, sudo app get update. I'm going to update my new Ubuntu install. I could download the updates while I'm installing, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to update the computer, shut it down, and bring it back up, and that's where I will pick it back up with you. Okay, so when you come back, um, update your machine, shut it down, bring it back up, and we'll go ahead from there. So, have a great day.